My God, I have a seven finger forehead. Okay, there we are. Oh, Joan, you're looking good today. That mayonnaise face mask you made's really paying off. Joan, stop it. Hello, you, and welcome to the video. Today, whoa, 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 hold on there, Jonathan Black. Because before we get started, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel, you give the video a like, leave a comment today's question, which food would you like to see us eat next? A huge shout out to the coldest water for giving all of our subscribers 10% off their entire purchase if you use code Jonathan Black in the link in the bio. There's also a link for the giveaway way to win a free one. Now you guys, you might be like, Jonathan Black, you're all alone today. I am, but I'm not. Something that a lot of people don't know about me is that I actually have a twin sister. She has decided to join us today. Ladies and gentlemen, please to, I, well, you'll see. Here's Joan. Oh my God, I'm so nervous. Hi, hello, how are you today? I'm here with Jonathan Black, he's my brother. We won't talk about that. Hello, I was asked to come on and suck a couple of jo Oh, he's very funny. Blue Ball's very creative. God. Today, you guys, we are going to be doing blue food, sour spray, blue sour straws, blue balls, <laughs> Cups, rock candy, ultra jiggly jiggly puff towers, a sour toilet, and some gummy cubes. Yay! My god, how riveting. Let's go ahead and get started. Joan doesn't want to be on camera with me, so I'm just gonna prep some stuff for her. And then she come in, and well, she'll just get what she gets. Give her some sours there. I'm gonna have a cube. Hello, yo. There you are. Mmm. Oh, that's actually good. Weird. <sighs> Mm. Oh, okay. I don't know if you know Joe's ever had balls before. There you go. Joan can have this. Joan, I made you a delicious ball in a cup and you will enjoy it, I promise. You just grab it, just go, and then just, and then you're like, ah, okay? Okay. So I'm just supposed to take this ball in the cup like a pervert. I assume he wants me to fart it. I've seen these before. Oh God, oh shoot, it just fell apart. Ew, what's it filled with? Ah, zinga. <laughs> Oh, oh God, you know what that sounds like, ladies? Or is it just me? <laughs> Gotta flip my, my beautiful locks back. Is it just me or does that sound like a special type of fart? Mmm, <sighs> mmm, oh, 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 <clears throat> oh my God. <clears throat> you do this every day? You. <clears throat> My god, you must have so many balls in your mouth. <laughs> wow. Can we like play a game or something? We are going to play Would You Rather. I have a list of questions right over here. I'm going to read them and then Joan will answer them and I'll give my answer too, okay? First one, would you rather ride a donkey or a giraffe? Personally, I would like to ride a giraffe because then I can just be like, my god, I can see everything from up here. And look at these neck muscles. <laughs> and then somebody would probably be like, what neck? And I'd be like, Oh, I would rather ride a donkey, you ass. Because then if I fall, it's not gonna hurt because I'm already very close to the floor. Next question, would you rather have edible spaghetti hair that regrows every single night or sweat onion juice? Uh, I'm gonna say because pasta is life that I want spaghetti hair because I can literally just lay in bed and just be like, um, mm -hmm. Chomp chomp. Well, first of all, I would much rather have onion juice because first things first, eating that much pasta is gonna make me have a fat ass. I mean, I already do, but it's like the kind of fat ass you look in the mirror and you're just like, my God, yes, you look good, Joan, but <clears throat> excuse me, my hemorrhoids are acting up. Whenever my hemorrhoids act up, I get a little burpy. Yeah, I'd rather have onion sweat because then, you know what I would do? I'd totally do this. I'd walk around, and pretend like I'm crying, and then when people come up to me and they're like, hey, how are you doing? I would be like, I'm good, but I'd be better if I had a drink in me and I wouldn't be so sad. And then they'd buy me drinks. So yeah, onions, onions. Would you rather have one giant hairy nipple or two very hairy belly buttons that collected a mass amount of lint and you could never shave any of them. I'm gonna say one big giant nipple because then I would make it metallic and tell people it's a CD. <laughs> I would be like, what CD? I'll be like, it's Michelle Branch. 
My God, you guys, he was always obsessed with Michelle Branch. It was the most irritating thing ever. Anytime I wanted to go bed, all you ever heard was Michelle Branch blasting through the walls. Anyways, I'd rarely like to just have like two hairy belly buttons because I already have one giant ultra hairy nipple. And I think it might be a fun change of pace, you know, especially for my boyfriend to be like, hey, where'd your big hairy nipple go? And I'll be like, but look, I got two belly buttons. And he'll be like, finally, I can eat pudding out of them. <laughs> Would you rather feel like someone is always watching you or someone is always following you? Personally, I like to feel like people are always looking at me like, my God, look at that man. <laughs> well, I would just pretend to be famous and I would just have people follow me around all the time. When I started to see them, if I started to see them, I would turn around and just be like, did you get me my latte yet? <laughs> Here's a fun fact, Joan doesn't even drink coffee. I'm a red wine girl in the morning. A glass a day keeps the doctor away. Huh? Huh? That sour. Why, no one. Would you, that, by the way, that was a very weird answer. Hello, yo. Oh! Oh, that was just like a little, like, Hello, you guys. Welcome to the Ball Fart Opera. The opera of the farting balls. The opera? Here we go. Toot toot, motherfucker. That one has some girth behind it. Oh, Lord. I'm gonna do it again. Now it's all loose. It sounded loose too. Would you rather all plants, when you're trimming or cutting them, scream, or when you're about to eat a piece of fruit, it starts freaking out and begging for its life like it can talk? I'm gonna say fruit, because if you chew it fast, you can't hear them scream that long. That sounds weird. Oh, you're a sick f for that question. Um, I'm not gonna say either because first of all, I don't eat fruit, it's not good for you. And second of all, you know I love my plants. Anytime I get my plants, if they wanna die, they can die on their own. I'm not gonna sit around and listen to them scream about it. Like, that would be so sad. You're sick, why would you ask me that? Just a game. And you're just a man that sucks blue balls for a living, am I right? <laughs> would you rather have uncontrollable body hair that just grows and generates constantly like you shave it off, bam, it comes back. Or would you rather smell like a very pungent, odorous person? I think I can answer for Joan because she already smells, but you never know. Personally, um, I'm gonna say, mm, I'm gonna take the hair because, no, well, that's really just not a good option. I guess I'm gonna go with the hair because I'd rather be hairy than super smelly. Uh. First of all, I haven't worn deodorant or perfume or anything since 1982, okay? Sec, <sighs> sec, <sighs> Second of all, Matthew McConaughey doesn't wear deodorant. He says it's his natural musk. Therefore, I also have a natural musk. I mean, it smells a little bit more fishy, but you know what? It makes me think of the ocean. So anyways, I think I'm just gonna keep my pungent smell. Everyone seems to love it. I mean, literally, I get on the city bus, I sit down, people move. They're like, my God, someone that smells that great, we can't sit by her. We can't sit here and steal her aroma. We're gonna move so she can have her space to just kind of veg out and just live life. I love to get on the bus. I just sit there, kick my legs up. Oh, when you're wearing a skirt in the breeze, woo! You'll never feel that freedom, let me tell you. Okay, well that is gonna be the last time we talk about you sitting spread eagle on a bus. Um, I'm gonna call the last question. Would you rather know when you're gonna die with a constant countdown clock going down in your eye, or know how you're gonna die from doing an everyday task but never knowing when? I'm going to go countdown clock because then I'll be like living my life to the fullest. Am I right though? Oh, you're a sick f for asking that question, I'll tell you that right now. Anyways, I'm not gonna answer it because I'm gonna live forever because of my positivity. Anyways, um, I gotta go. I have a very important monthly appointment I cannot miss. It's at the purring kitten. Yeah, getting a little waxed up down there. Anyways, it was great to be here, you guys. And uh, I believe Rachel just sh** on you all at the end, so pfft. Did I do it? Pfft. My God, my upper lip is sweating again. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm sorry, and I love you. Sparkles! My God, my tits are sweating like a sabbatical. Oh, I almost fell down. How the hell am I gonna do this? I just wanna be pretty. <laughs> Creepy. This is commitment, Rachel. My God, I'm hot. What was the or? Or a hairy nipple. No. Uh -huh.